Well, when he was 13 years old, his mother lost her job and he called me crying because he didn't know where he was going to be staying. So I told him I'd be over to get him. And at the time, he didn't have nobody else to help him because his father was in jail. So, you know, that's how he wound up with my wife and I. He was the only one that said, uh, here's a way out. I'm gonna get you this bus pass for you to go to school. And uh, when he gave me the bus pass, I could have went anywhere. I could have went downtown, but I went to school because it was from his examples of being a good man. We was married for over 65 years. We both uh, doing a lot of sacrifice between us to try to assist him to make sure that he had the things that he needed. It was kind of difficult there for a while because of the fact that, you know, we hadn't had no children in the household for years. But uh, I went and got him because I didn't want him winding up in jail or in some kind of trouble, which, you know, he needed guidance. We have good relationship. He's by, you know, to check on me three or four times a week, he stops by. And he's my uh, barber, he also cuts my hair. I let him train him how to cut hair on my head. I bought him his first pair of clippers, you know, when he was learning how to cut hair. My grandfather's integrity, his discipline, his aura, he's everything to me. I, uh, I consider my great-grandfather's my best friend. I believe, uh, my great-grandfather saved my life like a seatbelt. The main thing is to be patient. You have to have a lot of patience dealing with children today. And this is what's important. And uh, you can't give up on them. If they need your help, just, you know, be patient. Well, I'm really proud to see him uh, try to make something out of himself on his own. And a lot of people has called telling me how proud they are to see him, and it makes me feel good to know that he's doing something, you know, worthy. Mm -hmm.